In this video, we'll be reviewing two light take nerf darts, including the weirdest nerf dart design I've seen in a while. What's going on everyone? My name is Legit Bread. I post a new nerf video every Saturday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Before we start, I want to say thank you to Light Take for sending me their Whirlwind Flathead Darts and Roundhead Darts for me to review. These Roundhead Darts are definitely the weirdest nerf darts I've seen in a while and I can't wait to see how they perform. Firstly, let's go over the Whirlwind Flathead Darts. If you thought the design looked familiar, that's because they're a complete copy of the nerf branded AccuStrike Darts in every single way, but that's not a bad thing. The dart Dart foam is the same and the type of plastic tip, material and design wise, is the same too. However, AccuStrike darts have the tips glued to the darts themselves, whereas the light tick dart tips are simply secured by the post and can wiggle. So far this hasn't been detrimental to the lifespan or performance of the Whirlwind Flathead dart. You know what, that's such a long name, I'm just going to call it the Whirlwind dart instead. It sounds cooler that way. As for performance, I did a ton of testing with this dart with different blasters off camera so I won't bore you and I'll just summarize what I found. Accuracy wise, overall it's very consistent with a tight spread around wherever I was aiming, in this case the top smallest target hole. No fish tailing, no veering off course, it very much mirrors the behavior of the AccuStrike dart. I was getting the normal 25 plus foot range as we normally see in AccuStrike darts. Good stuff, I was pleasantly surprised. When it comes to performance and quality, the Whirlwind darts are practically identical compared to the AccuStrike darts. I was super impressed with these, not only because of the results of my testing, but because they are so incredibly dirt cheap to buy. If you're American, a pack of 24 nerf AccuStrike darts not on sale would run you around $10. That's 42 cents per dart. Now if we go on lighttake.com, taking the original price of $6.52, you can get 300 Whirlwind darts in a variety of colors for only $11.00. 66 cents and that's including shipping to the US. That is only 4 cents per dart. It's honestly a steal and even cheaper than the awesome Ekine waffle darts that I reviewed a while ago. And if 300 darts ain't enough, you can supply a nation with their 1000 dart package. To sum this up, these are now my new favorite darts. Let's now move the discussion to what you're probably most curious about. This is called the Roundhead Dart and it's honestly one of the most intriguing and weird nerf darts I've seen in a while for a couple of reasons. It mostly resembles an elite dart, kind of looks like an elongated foam bullet. Or if you have a less mature mind, they kind of look like the anatomical parts found on the chests of uh, chimpanzees. Now the next reason this dart design is weird is because it's risky performance wise. In theory, the shape would be very aerodynamic and reduce drag in the air, but all it takes is a misshapen or torn tip to make this dart veer off course. If quality control of these darts isn't perfect, this could really screw up how the darts perform. And to top it all off, they have the word accurate printed on every single dart. Most companies don't bother to do this with their darts except for Nerf, so it adds that extra bit of quirkiness. Performance. Is the roundhead dart good or crap? Just like what I said about this dart, even its performance was weird. Using the roundhead dart with a variety of blasters, I found that accuracy was very inconsistent. I got some tight groupings, some darts veered off course, it was very hit or miss, literally. In general, I would say it's better than regular elite darts and elite suctions, but not as good as AccuStrike darts. Like I predicted, the shape of this tip is probably the reason for all this. For range, I was getting decent power out of these darts. However, they're not as powerful as Elite, Elite Suction, or AccuStrike darts. Some of the roundhead darts fishtailed or severely went off course similar to Elite darts. So the performance of these weird roundhead darts had the good and the bad attributes of many popular nerf branded darts, but in my opinion, it had more of the bad. I really don't see a need to buy this dart when the Whirlwind darts are so perfect for the price. Overall, save your money, don't get these darts, but definitely check out the Whirlwind darts because they rock. Thanks for watching everyone, make sure you check out Light Take's huge selection of good priced nerf gear and press that subscribe button for more nerf content. Check out my full nerf playlist in the card up here. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.